We, um, we have a village here called Entheon Village and uh, it's, a, it's a community of about 550 people this year and it's our third year doing it. Um, it started uh, around the kitchen and the concept was let's build a communal kitchen that can feed you know, everybody who wants to participate in it and it's escalated and grown to now we have you know a large kitchen, we have showers, we have potties, we have all refrigeration systems, we have large public projects where we're doing uh, the Pantheogenesis Temple this year, holding lots of lectures and talks and uh, yoga workshops and uh, different classes. And, and then behind me here we've uh, built a kind of container um, residential project uh, trying to uh, do something other than RVs to say, you know, we can do something more sustainable than RVs and invest in an infrastructure that we can keep using again and again, rather than, you know, having people come out here and drive the RV and, you know, spend all that, those resources on something that's really temporary. So we've, this year, really taken our efforts and, um, and focused them on building this infrastructure and partnered with a couple of other nonprofit organizations that do disaster relief so that our infrastructure can be used outside of this event and outside of other events like this if and when it's needed to help people. Working here at Entheon Village on all the logistical details that uh, the village of over 600 people um, require us to maintain and uh, basically raising the morale of all of our villagers and the people that are working with us so we can continue to get everything done in this um, extraneous environment that we call home for a couple weeks out here in the desert. Well, this is the container project that we uh, decided to try to create an alternative for RV living here um, and as well as it's going to double up as disaster relief if something bad would go down and we need to like house people, feed people, shower people, and deal with sanitary systems. So. We went for it and uh, really proud of what we pulled together to house people and, and create something for those people that may have a problem in the future. What's the scope of the project? Well, How many people are you supporting here? Uh, right now we're supporting 15 different units, um, but I would say that's probably around near to 50 people. Um, our kitchen fed about 400 people and our showers showered a lot of those people too and um, the heart dome we really had a good time with that and entertained a lot of folks and did some really cool video projections on our screens and uh, yeah so there's quite a lot of stuff in this scope of project how long were you guys here? What was the uh, man, uh, man hours you, you, you guys put into this? Oh wow, well, we've been working on this project for a couple months. So I've been in, in Chicago um, building a kitchen container for maybe two or three weeks there in August and then came back here and worked on this thing in Reno for about two weeks. And uh, we'd put in 15 hour days busting it out, doing what we can to try to get this thing in order. And here we worked around the clock. So I mean, I can't really give you the, the, the estimated mileage hours on this project, but I know it's a lot. Cool. Go, go, what you think, baby? Hey, it's all happening right now. You know, this is where uh, it counts. We break down, we make it happen, we get home, we clean up, take a break. Enjoy, reflect. Coco, my new brother. Right on. Happy to be alive and sharing it with you. Yeah, me too, man. Right on. The dy dynamic duo. Any closing comments? Bobcat. In closing, I think we've all learned powerful lessons here. One being, when you join together with your friends to do the impossible, it usually gets done in one way or another. Bravo. Michael? Ditto. <laughs> and great master, Steve, tell us, how do you feel this day? Good, man.
Yeah. Wake and ready. Nice. It's a good experience, man. Bobcat, honor. So good to be here. Meet with you, you. Brother. Michael, you're the best, baby. Our home's always yours. Real simple. Total, total expression of possibility when people get together and uh, are loving and kind with one another.